I'm Si Gui of A1, Yen is here from Educa Doco. Today I'm going to talk about Wi-Fi network connection issue with an iPad. So your iPad won't connect to Wi-Fi or the Wi-Fi is on but your iPad not connecting to it. That's crazy because you cannot connect to App Store or with a website. But don't panic, this video is based on useful troubleshooting tips to figure out why iPad is not connecting to Wi-Fi and then sort out the connectivity issue. If your iPad won't connect to Wi-Fi, sometimes a restart will fix the problem for good. It's likely that your iPad software has crashed, which prevents it from connecting to your Wi-Fi network connection. The way to restart an iPad depends on whether your device has a home button or not. My iPad has a home button, so I press and hold the top button until power of slider appears. Drag the slider to turn it off. Wait for 30 seconds and then turn back on your iPhone by pressing and holding the top button until you see the Apple logo. After your iPad fully turns back on, test out to see if it can connect to Wi-Fi. For an iPad that doesn't have a home button, press and hold either volume button and the side button until the power slider appears. Drag the slider and wait for 30 seconds for your device to turn off. The next thing is to turn Wi-Fi off and back on. Go to settings, tap Wi-Fi. Then toggle off the switch next to Wi-Fi. Wait for a few minutes, turn the switch again to turn it back on. But here's another case. Your iPad is connected to Wi-Fi but can't connect to Internet. Let me go to Apple Store. And here's the message. Cannot connect to App Store. I can retry it and the message remains. So go back to Settings. Tap General. Tap the Date and Time. You see, my iPad says the year is 2020, which is not. This is why your Wi-Fi network is not working and your iPad has no internet access. All you need to do is turn it on set automatically to let iPad set the day correctly. Now go back to App Store. You see, it works. Of course, make sure you have Wi-Fi switch on in your iPad settings. Just as you restart your iPad, you should also restart your Wi-Fi router and modem. Sometimes this will remedy the issue if they have a wire connection. Restarting a router and modem is a simple matter of applying the power cable and then plug it back, back in. Be sure to leave it on for 10 seconds before you plug in the power cable and power on the router. If the router is having problems, you need to contact the router's manufacturer for help. And sometimes the Wi-Fi router needs to be updated with the latest firmware. The fourth step is to forget your Wi-Fi password and then reconnect to it. Go back to settings, tap Wi-Fi, tap your Wi-Fi network connection, tap to forget this network, or the port or dialog box, tap forget. To join the Wi-Fi network again, tell the name of your Wi-Fi, enter your password, tap join and you are done. If your iPad is still not connecting to Wi-Fi network, it's time to reset iPad's network settings. This will actually delete Wi-Fi networks and password, several settings, and VPN and APN settings that the iPad has stored. To reset the network settings on the iPad, open settings and tap General. Tap Reset at the bottom. Tap Reset Network Settings. Enter your passcode to confirm. Your iPad will Reset the settings for the network and once it's done, reconnect to your Wi-Fi to see if the problem is solved. If resetting network settings doesn't help, the best thing to do is to make sure the firmware of iPad is working properly. The cross firmware is preventing iPad from connecting to Wi-Fi. To verify and troubleshoot the issue, go and use iOS system recovery software. As its name suggested, it's dedicated to fix any iOS errors, maybe the software issue that may cause the device to be malfunctioning. You can get a program from Edgar.com. Here's how to use it. So launch the software on your computer. Click more tools. Click iOS system recovery. Click start. Now connect your iPhone to your computer. Once it's connected, choose standard mode. It's good enough for minor software problem. Click confirm. Now select an iOS firmware for your iPhone and download it instantly. Wait for the download to finish. And once done, click Fix to remedy the issue. It's all that simple. 
If you want to still have trouble connecting iPad to Wi-Fi, contact Apple. The expert will check if the Wi-Fi antenna is broken, and make sure it's not the antenna causing you the Wi-Fi problem. So make an appointment at Genius Bar, and bring your iPad into local Apple store. If this doesn't create the issue, you probably need to get a new iPad. Alright, here's all you can do to fix an iPad that won't connect to Wi-Fi or Internet. If any of method helps you out, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to Andrew's channel, and hit the bell to get notification whenever we share a video. You can also leave your comments below. See you next video.